Hello and welcome, I'm Ben from Digi International and this video is a demo of how to configure a GRE tunnel between a device running Digi Accelerated Linux and a Cisco IOS router. GRE is an encapsulation protocol that is often used to create a point-to-point -point tunnel between two routers. It's generally used in corporate networks that are already secure. GRE is not a secure protocol, but one that helps with routing multiple types of traffic between two routers that are usually not directly connected. If you already know and use GRE but not on a DAL device, this demo is for you. The topology here is quite basic, but it's enough to demo the configuration. I have a Cisco IOS router that has a switched Ethernet connection to a DAL router. The hardware I'm using is the Digi EX15. The two routers have an IP address on the same network segment. The Cisco has 192.168.0.50 and the EX15 has 192.168.0.40. For testing, the Cisco has a loopback address of 192.168.100.1 with a 24-bit mask. But this would normally be a connected network. I've pre-configured the Cisco with the Ethernet IP address, the loopback address, the tunnel configuration and a static route. You could of course use a dynamic routing protocol over the GRE tunnel, but for ease and to keep the demo relatively short, we'll be using a static route instead. My laptop has multiple network cards, so I need to add a route to the loopback network via the EX15. That's the overview. Let's get on with the DAL configuration. Bring up the web interface on your DAL router and log in. You'll be presented with the status page. This EX15 is using firmware version 19.11.72.58 and has the new web interface. Click System, Device Configuration, navigate to VPN, IP Tunnels, add a tunnel by giving it a name. The mode is correctly set to GRE. Set the local endpoint. This is the interface that will be the source of the GRE tunnel, equivalent of Cisco's tunnel source address. For this device, it is interface 1. Set the remote endpoint. This is the IP address of the Cisco router, and this parameter is the equivalent to Cisco's tunnel destination address. If we refer back to the diagram, we're looking at 192.168.0.50. We need to add the tunnel key, which is 121212. And because we set up Keep Alive's on the Cisco side, we need to enable this option to enable Keep Alive replies. Next, we need to set up the GRE interface. This is in Network, Interfaces, and we need to add a new interface. We'll call this GRE underscore ton. The interface type is already set to Ethernet. The firewall zone needs to be set to internal and the device is IP tunnel GRE underscore ton that we configured in the previous step. Next, add the internal IP addressing on the GRE tunnel. Checking the diagram shows that the IP address needs to be set to 192.168.252 with a 30-bit mask. The last part of the configuration is to add a static route. Scrolling down a bit, click on Routes, Static Routes, Add Route. Give it a name. The destination network is the loopback network configured on the Cisco router 192.168.100.0 with a 24-bit mask and the interface to use for this static route will be the GRE tunnel. That's the configuration complete, so scroll to the top and click apply. The tunnel should now show us connected. Go to status, IP tunnels. The status says enabled and we can see that packets have been received and sent, so that's two-way traffic. That's good. From my laptop I should now be able to ping the Cisco loopback interface And that's success. Four pings, four replies. Let's go back to the status page now and check that the sent and receive stats have both increased. F5 to refresh the page. And yes, now we see 16 receive, 7 sent. We can also validate this on the Cisco side. Bring up the Cisco router. There is already a message on screen saying that the 
tunnel interface has changed its status to up. If we have a look at the interface table, we can see that the status and protocol are both up for tunnel zero. And this page shows seven packets have been received, again confirming two-way traffic. That's the end of the demo. I hope you found this demo useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.